Hey, it's Joe Glines. This video, um, I'm going to demonstrate my Excel function for piecing together emails. Now, um, I want to <laughs> mention here, I don't actually recommend using this um, in general. I would say there's a much better approach. Look at our webinar on using Outlook um, with Calm, because in that, um, I think it's sort of the third or fourth uh, tutorial script we review, we show how to highlight some things in Excel hit a button and have it generate nice, pretty HTML um, emails personalized um, for people. So that is a, a much more sophisticated and honestly just a better approach to me. But um, I had this in my function library because I had written this before, so I want to demonstrate it. So there's, like the insert hyperlinks, there's two approaches here. So we're going to do insert email. Um, and here it's going to ask, of course, for the pointer where I connected on line five there. This is, this is all of my function library. Um, and so we connect to the pointer and then where's the email? Well, the email's in cell A2. And then where's the subject? It's uh, cell C3. Sorry, C2. Where's the body? The body is D. And the display, in case you for some reason wanted this, um, is B2. And the destination is E2. Oops, got a double quote. There we go. Save it, reload it, and run it. And so that will, if you wanted, you know, if you wanted the pretty name, right, most times you wouldn't. You just reuse the, the URL. Of course, we could change the function, not include that. But um, when you notice, when you hover over here, it shows all this stuff. But when you click it, so it comes up and says, hey, it's two, Joe at the automator. The subject is filled out and the body is filled out, right? And that's what we had in here. So you could actually have different things in here um, and personalize in that way. You know, you could, you could, cause you could concatenate fields in here and have their first name and say, hi, Joe, or whatever you wanted, right? Um, again, the, I don't recommend this, but um, just wanted to demonstrate it. So that's, that's the first way. Um, and then there's the offset also. Excel, insert email. And we're just gonna do the column offset. Um, it looks like I didn't have a row offset, but that's fine. Um, so Excel, the destination is going to be, let's say F two through five, F five comma, the email offset. Now here's where we're getting the numbers. So you just count back, right? So, and that's a terrible spot for that IntelliSense to be showing. So we're on here and actually, if we know your alphabets, this is five. So it's going to be one, two, three, four over. So that's going to be a minus four because we're going left. Um, the next one is the friendly offset, which looks like it's minus three. The subject offset is minus two. And the body offset is minus one. Save that, reload it, run it. Oh, did I get, looks like I got one. I got something mixed up here. Let's take a look. So if I, um, Email offset. Oh, look at that. That was supposed to be a five. So, so the email is five, right? Let me count them again. Oh, because I'm on F. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. And so, you know what? This is really annoying. Let me move this down a couple rows. So, um, friendly is four. That would make that three, and that should be two. Remember, we're counting over um, from here to the left, and they're negative. So when I rerun it, now it's similar to that first one, right? Um, but it did it for each one. And so, bam, you, you could have a, a personalized... I'm not sure why the body... I'll have to look at that, because I noticed that in another one. It didn't pull the body, and I must have done something a little wonky in the body. So I'll fix that, but um, you get the idea. So I hope that helps. Cheers.